welcome to I Create Live. My name is Jimmy Hayes. I am with Ross Andrews. Hi there. And Stephen Ashby. Hi. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Mac App Store, which came out yesterday. So, Ross, first impressions? I'm um, really excited about it. Um, it's given me a, a, a lot more interest in downloading and finding software, something I haven't done for quite a while now. Um, just because it's in one place, it gives you that same kind of browse mentality you have with the iOS store. You just want to go on there, take a look around, see what software's there. Something catches your eye, you think oh, it's only two ninety nine. You buy it, you download it, you've brought some software. I think it's really going to reinvigorate the market. Okay, Stephen, your, your first thoughts? Uh, I think it's a good idea. I think my only real concern is that it will slightly push away uh, developers whose apps aren't going to be accepted by Apple, so maybe in small indie developers who can't get it accepted by their strict policies. So people who are doing the system level stuff, the root yeah. access stuff, which Apple doesn't allow you to do in its, in its um, guidelines for developers. I think they may be pushed out slightly in favour of the more mainstream apps coming in. And do you think we'll see less of those apps around? Obviously visibility is going to be one of those key issues because obviously everything that's on the App Store is easy to find. Are we going to be able to find those cool apps that we used I to think, Yeah, to I think find? there's a danger it's going to be driven by the market because if I'm a developer and I'm looking to invest my time and my skills in making an app, am I going to do one that can't get onto the app store and have it limited in visibility, yeah. or am I going to put my attention into something I know is going to be seen by millions of people? Um, do we think that by the same token as those apps that are system level and cool and quirky, do we think bigger, fuller, more expensive apps will also go the same way? You know, the Adobe's of this world, are they going to struggle to sell more apps now because I don't of the think app so, store? Cause um, interestingly, a part of the, the licensing agreement you sign up to when you go onto the App Store is that they're saying that you can only use these apps for personal use. Commercial use is prohibited. Right. It's a little vague, everybody's a little bit confused about it, no one's quite sure, and Apple haven't clarified in the way they, they won't do for years. Um, but it would mean I don't think that the Mac App Store is a good option for big corporate companies looking to site license software. And that's the majority of people who are going to be using Adobe software, who are going to be using Logic, Logic Pro, Final yeah. Cut Studio, stuff, things like this. Um, I don't think it's a great model for them, so I think they'll still be buying it on disc or they'll still be buying it on download, you know, the way they have done direct from the manufacturer or from third party retailers. I think that's still going to happen. I think this is focused purely on the consumer. It's to go in there for the, the new Mac users, the people who've come from iOS and want the same simplicity they've got with the iOS app store. They want that on the Mac as well, and I think it's hit that spot beautifully. Okay, and uh, do we think that when Lion comes out later on this year, with its new iOS-like skin, that we may eventually see the death of the DMG. That if Apple says, okay, well, so many people are now using the Mac App Store, nobody's using DMGs, we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna stop you being able to load apps using a DMG from a website. You can only do it now through the Mac App Store. What do you think, Steve? I don't think that's gonna happen. I hope it doesn't, certainly. Um, I think, like, like we've already heard from Ross, if, the, if there's, sort of system based things, the sort of utilities to change the look or feel of your OS, which obviously Apple aren't going to allow through their uh, their screening policy, then that, that sort of app is only going to be available through the web. And you've got to hope that things like that still exist, because if they don't, then that's just going to remove a whole slice of, of what people love about their It Mac. takes a lot of fun out of the Mac, yeah. the Mac if, well, you can't, if you can't, can't muck about with the system, yeah. the OS. Yeah. And I think the user base will then migrate, won't they? And yeah. Apple won't want to lose them, surely. Yeah, I mean, there's a danger that people say that Apple only care about the consumer end and aren't caring about the, the Apple fanboys or the hardcore yeah. um, power users anymore. I don't, I don't get that's true. I, th I think they, they still do. I think there would be a massive outcry. It depends if it's a process of attrition, and over the next five years, the market pushes it so that people only are just used to installing from the Mac App Store and don't really notice when the other avenues of installing go away. Yeah. Then, possibly, but I think that's a long, a long tail, and I think it's something we can't really... It, extrapolate on right now. Okay, and the final the final point we really want to make in this video is do we think that the market will now drive prices down to the point where we're not seeing um, a lot of We're devaluing software. Is it, yeah, yeah. Are, we are we going to see software devalued by the App Store now? I don't know, I mean this has always been an interesting disparity with the iOS Store where you've had the, the top grossing list and you know that part that's made up with 99p apps that have sold phenomenally well and part of that's filled up with um, the £30 iOS apps that you know sell less but make a lot more money. Um, I think as long as you can justify it, as long as you, your software is good enough, then you can still justify a, a relatively high price. Um, what that relatively high price is going to be, I think, is being largely dictated by Apple right now with their yeah, price drop in Aperture, yeah. which is an absolute bargain at 40, 44, £45. Pounds. Yeah, yeah. So if that's the highest price point, then that causes people who are used to charging over 100 
you know, that could be a bit of a problem. Yeah. But for me, you know, that works out well. That's a good price point. I'm happy to pay that for Aperture. I'm more than happy to pay the £12 for the iWork apps, the £8 for the iLife apps. It's, it's a good price point for, for consumers. Yeah, and Steve Jobs has this famous saying of, you know, let's price it low and go for volume. That's fine. But I'm going to make a statement now that if I see a fart app on the Mac App Store... I think there's I'm, one already I'm, there. I'm pretty sure there's one no already there. No way. Yeah, absolutely. There's got to oh, be a fart app uh, on there. That's just, that's horrifying. So, yeah, um, let's put out an appeal to everyone. Nobody buy that app. Yeah, don't buy the phone apps. No, yeah, stay apps. away from them. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Okay, so let's sum up now. Um, Mac App Store... What do you think? Final verdict? Yeah, I think from early days, but, but really hit the nail on the head for me. Really surprised me in that it's just made it so much more fun to look for software and that reinvigorates um, what has been a slightly ailing market, I think, for, for indie developers and for shareware developers and, and um, that, kind of, that kind of industry. I think it's going to be exciting. Okay, Stephen, your final thoughts? Yeah, I think it's a good step in the right direction. I, I really don't want it to remove other developers from the loop, um, so we're going to have to wait and see how, how it goes. Uh, I think it's a good start, but we we just we, we can't really predict how it's going to happen yet because it's really really early days. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay, I'm I'm also erring on the side of caution. I think that um, I think there are a lot of things that could happen that could take it the wrong way, but used in the right spirit. I think that it could encourage a lot of Mac users to download a lot more software. Yeah. Um, so yeah, excellent. So uh, goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. See you soon.